a few weeks ago, fans got interesting news as Disney announced that production for the sequel of Zootopia would soon begin. Disney's decision to move forward with the sequel Zootopia is not surprising given the film's huge success in its 2016 release. Almost a decade after the first film was released, Zootopia 2 would be hitting our screen soon, but not too soon. And the excitement is running high with the focus on Judith Hopp's quest to become the first rabbit to become a police officer. Zootopia made a splash when it debuted in 2016 to widespread praise. Oh no, 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 too fast, too fast, hold on! Jason Bateman, known for his role as Nick Wilde and Jennifer Goodwin, who played Officer Judy Hobbs, are both expected to return in the upcoming sequel. Additionally, Byron Howard and Rich Moore, the original film directors, might also come back if Disney decides to reunite the team with the first film. Alongside the slated writers and directors, several well-known actors have been cast as voice actors in the rumored sequel. Buddy? Are you okay? <laughs> Run. The original cast was expected to return for the most part, with reports indicating that Mike Myers, Sean Ashmore, Rami Malek, Marissa Tomei, Lauren Holly, Frankie Munitz, and Adam Sandler would join them. Now that the sequel is officially in the works, it would be interesting to see if any of these well-known actors appear in the film, especially considering how well-received the first movie was. Joining the Zootopia 2 project might be a smart move, while the plot details remain unclear given that Judy Hopps and Nick Wilde are the central characters, the film will likely focus on them. Specifically, it might explore Nick's role as the first Fox police officer in the Zootopia Police Department and his partnership with Judy. I think this is our stop! In 2016, Byron Howard and Rich Moore directed an outstanding voice cast, which included actors like Jason Bateman, Idris Elba, and Jenny Slade. When the original film hit theaters, it grossed over a billion dollars worldwide, prompting the studio to prioritize making a sequel. While it took a while for Walt Disney Studios to confirm the development of Zootopia 2, they engaged fans by creating a wide range of franchise products and theme park attractions for Zootopia. Additionally, a series of short animated films featuring some of of the original film's supporting characters was released on Disney+. Plus. Despite this, audiences eagerly anticipated returning to the heart of the city nearly 10 years after the release of the first film. Bye bye, bunny. Now that Disney has officially announced the sequel, the release date is earlier than what we expected despite the fact that it wasn't officially announced till another year. According to Bob Iger, Zootopia 2 would be released in 2025, announced at one of the company's earning calls. The CEO, Bob Iger, announced to the date the sequel of Zootopia 2. Continuing Disney's tradition of releasing new movies around Thanksgiving, it was revealed that the highly anticipated animated sequel will premiere on November 26, 2025. While many details are still unclear, the confirmation of Zootopia 2 hitting our screens is promising. Despite the distant release date, which may still change, anticipation is high for the return of important characters. Although there has yet to be a formal casting announcement, it's worth noting that the characters have already starred in a Zootopia spin-off series. Run. Run. Disney's announcement on Zootopia 2 makes perfect sense, because over the past few years, some of their movies have not been performing well at the box office, and they need to make a statement to the fans that they can still make good movies, and coupled with that, the fans' desire for them to make a sequel, it looks like the perfect combination, and even without beginning production, it is already looking like a movie that'll cross that billion dollar mark at the box office. It better have the extra foam this time. <laughs> Zootopia 2 is expected to pick up where the first movie left off, with Judy's continued rise in the police department. Their dynamic, blending wise guy humor with genuine care will remain central to the story. Their vibrant personalities will shine just as bright as the first film as they embark on new adventures and encounter new characters. You dirty rat, why are you helping her? She's a cop! The first film, Zootopia, introduces us to the city of Zootopia, where animals of all sizes, from enormous elephants to tiny insects, live in harmony. Judy Hopps quickly learns about the challenges of being a police officer after becoming the first rabbit to join the police department. She eagerly jumps in at every opportunity to solve a challenging case, demonstrating her unwavering resolve to prove her abilities. However, her task is made more difficult by partnering with Nick Wilde, with whom she must reluctantly work with. 
Quest. Despite being marketed as a feel-good family animation, this humorous movie surprisingly delves deep, contrasting with the typical buddy cop films. Zootopia doesn't shy away from discussing subjects like tolerance. The film centers around a mystery in the city and is genuinely funny, offering one of the best conspiracy thrillers in the crime genre. As Judy and Nick investigate, they uncover a criminal plan to turn Zootopia's predator citizens against each other. This plot serves as a clear metaphor for real-world prejudice, with Zootopia's exploration of unconscious bias making it one of Disney's most influential films. That's what we do with the DVD. <laughs> Despite the social critique, the undeniable chemistry between Officer Hops and Nick Wilde, an ex-convict, has led many to wonder if they'll become a couple in the sequel. Their relationship in Zootopia is complex, especially considering Judy's initial prejudice against foxes. However, as they work together on her investigation and Judy focuses on her growth, their connection becomes apparent. By the end of the movie, they are limited to being partners, but viewers are itching for more than just a good friendship. I saw. Whoa! I, 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 I didn't see nothing. I'm not saying nothing. And you never will. Please. Their chemistry was evident despite belonging to different species, sparking a desire among many to see Judy enter a romantic relationship in the sequel. The nature of the relationship between the two unlikely protagonists has been the most frequently asked question, with the directors unable to provide a definitive answer. Some fans are bound to be disappointed. It'll either develop into romance or remain a friendship. Look, he's getting away! <laughs> well, are you a cop or not? Oh, yes, yes! Don't worry, sir, I got this! This might be good news for fans hoping for a romantic relationship between Nick and Judy, but romance could pose a challenge considering Zootopia's central theme. In Zootopia 2, if Nick and Judy start dating, it would serve to illustrate the challenges of non-traditional partnerships. Much like how the first movie examined the effects of racism and fear, Nick and Judy could be representing an interracial couple in real life. This presents another crucial subject to address diversity that kids need to learn to tolerate and understand as the norm. Stop in the if you can, Cottontail! <laughs> Depicting these ideas within interspecies relationships could pose challenges. Disney's approach of its BIPOC, Black, Indigenous, and People of Color characters as animals or having them transform into animals at some point in the story has already faced criticism. Examples such as The Princess and the Frog and The Emperor's New Groove illustrates this trend. Additionally, the studio has a history of avoiding LGBT representation, often seen in dehumanization of gay characters like the Cyclops and Onward. Or or the placement of couples in science fiction environments like Strange World or Lightyear. Excuse me? Mm -hmm. Down here? Hi. O. M. Goodness. Comparing an unconventional relationship to an interspecies one would worsen the issues. Disney isn't the first to create an all-animal society, but what sets Zootopia apart is the connection it draws between incredibly relevant real-world subjects in a comfortable and relatable manner. Hey, no kiss bye-bye for daddy? You kiss me tomorrow. I bite your face off. Judy's parents and other similar characters weren't intentionally bad, but they had to reconsider the harm their unintentional prejudices caused the others and the environment. They did so in a way that young people and audiences could understand, with the hope that watching these endearing and entertaining characters would help them become better versions of themselves as they grew older. It's expected that Zootopia 2 will continue this tradition, introducing fresh and significant lessons that will benefit both young and mature audiences. Um, hello? Hello? Oh. Hello? <laughs> it's very important to be careful about promoting the romanticization of Judy Hopps and Nick Wilde's relationship, as it might weaken the film's message about prejudice and bias. Zootopia 2 could delve into various social issues without delving into their romance. The co-director Jim Bush revealed that Zootopia was initially envisioned as a spy film before undergoing significant changes. It would be interesting to explore different genres and future Zootopia sequels. The first was a buddy cop comedy. The second could explore the original spy theme, and future entries might venture into western action or swashbuckling adventures. Whose car is it? The most feared crime boss in Tundra Town. They call him Mr. Big and he does not like me, so we gotta go. For the Zootopia franchise, there are countless possibilities in store, and while we count down to its opening, I would love to know about the things that excite you about the upcoming sequel. Let me know what you think in the comments and check out our next video. He was a savage! Uh.